All right, uh, quickly, Biden VP. <laughs> this is turning into quite a joke. Um, so Biden initially, this is, this is kind of the, the state of mind of the Democratic Party, right? The state of the world in the Democratic Party. Initially, Biden said, I'm definitely going to choose a woman because this needs to be historic. We, we've already done the black president thing. Now we need a woman thing, woman vice president thing. So he, he said, I'm only going to choose a woman. And then the whole Black Lives Matter ha happened, and everybody says, oh, well, if you're going to choose a woman, it has to be a black woman. And basically, Biden is not committed to, doing, to choosing as vice president a black woman. Now, he has to find a qualified black woman, and I'm sure they are, uh, but within the Democratic Party, right? So he has, I, I was thinking, if, if, you really, if you really wanted to, I think, really win this election, and, and if you, I can think the best VP choice for Biden if he was going to go with a black woman. Now, I'm not a fan of hers, but I just think politically this would be an amazing choice because it would completely disorient people, it completely throw them off, and it would garner support from unlikely places. I think his best is Condoleezza Rice. Being a black female Republican who is a moderate Republican, so she's not going to radically disagree with you on stuff and probably agree with you on most foreign policy issues if you're Biden. And I think that would throw, that would throw it completely. Throw it completely. Anyway, um, I don't think that's the choice he has. He's basically looking at people like Kamala Harris um, and, uh, and uh, Duckworth, I think, who's a senator, and a few, uh, this black woman who used to be a sheriff down in Orlando and is now a congresswoman from Florida. And, uh, and he's looking at the other race. I think Susan Rice, who was uh, Obama's national security advisor, who would be terrible. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, once in a while, still mentioned as a possibility. But, of course, Elizabeth Warren is, um, I think his campaign would completely implode if it was Elizabeth Warren because I think he would lose all his Wall Street support and maybe even some of his uh, Silicon Valley support if he, if he chose a Susan Rice. Yeah. Um, that is Elizabeth Warren if he did that. Um, and then uh, the last couple of days, there's been this new, um, uh, th this new uh, possibility, and that is Karen, Karen Bass. Karen Bass is the leader of the Black Caucus in the House of Representatives. She's a Democrat congresswoman from the state of California. Um, I think Kamala Harris is like mixed. She's some black and some Native American. Elizabeth Warren, I guess, is part Native American. I think the part is 0.0002%, something like that. Um, but I don't, get, I don't think it will be Elizabeth Warren. I think it will be, I think it will be Kamala Harris in the end. But anyway, they're floating the name of Karen Bass today. And this is the quality of the people you have in the Democratic Party that, that now you know, Biden has, has limited himself to. Karen Bass is a long, she, she is, some say she's like number two after Kamala Harris. She, she, the likelihood is very high. And yet, and yet, Karen Bass uh, visited Cuba several times when she was young. She worked in Cuba. She is known and has been known to be a big fan of Fidel Castro. When Fidel Castro died, she actually wrote this, um, this note about you know, how, how he was the commander-in-chief like, of the movement, in a sense, right? Um, she is a huge apologist for Cuba. Now, the news reports about this, I find that interesting in and of itself, uh, the way it's reported in the news, right? That's often half of the story. Is, is, the, is the news reports about this, is the news is not worried about the fact that she is a um, Cuba supporter because of what it says about her ideology, about what it says about what she thinks about the world. The news media is only interested about the fact that she is a supporter of Cuba in terms of what it does in terms of how much it hurts Biden in Florida because the Cubans won't vote for him because she is pro Fidel Castro. I mean, this is what she wrote when he died. Um, 
As Cuba begins nine days of mourning, I wish to express my condolences to the Cuban people and the family of Fidel Castro. The passing of the Comandante en Jefe, which means Commander-in-Chief, is a great loss to the people of Cuba. Really? Now, that alone should disqualify you from being Vice President of the United States. It's, it's a, you know, it's, I don't think it quite disqualifies you from being a Congresswoman if your district is basically commie, but it should disqualify you from anybody voting for you. So as compared to this lady, Carmela Harris seems like normal, like cool, like a pro-capitalist. Carmela Harris, though, is hated by the left because she was a, a prosecutor in California and she's accused of being too tough on criminals. So I think it's going to be Carmela Harris. I think that's one of the problems he has is everybody claims that Carmela Harris is too ambitious. Too ambitious. You don't want a VP who's more ambitious than you are. <sighs> All right. So what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 